In this short video, I will be going over some of the key features of the Latify application for iOS. When starting the application, you will be invited to log in with your Google account, which we will do right now. After typing in your password, we hit the sign in button which will bring us to the authorization page. So in order to use Latify, you'll need to authorize Latify to access your Google Attitude information, Fusion tables, view your email address, and allow it to perform, uh, to interact with these services while the application is running in the background. So we will allow access for that. So as you can see, it has found my location here. It has put the address of my location on the top. On the top right uh, corner, you see an icon indicating how the application will uh, perform its location updates. So it has been configured now to do it on an hourly basis. We'll go over the settings in a while. On the top right hand corner, you'll also see a share button allowing you to share your location with social media like Facebook, Twitter, or simply send your location via email or SMS. On the main screen, uh, you can also refresh your current location by clicking on the refresh button. So what the application will then do, it will um, use the device's sensors. In this case, the it's configured to use Wi-Fi. It will detect your location, it will drop a pin, and it will do the update to Google Attitude. There's also a settings page uh, on the first tab, which shows you the Google account which is currently logged in. It also allows you to add manual locations to the map, so you'll get a pop-up saying that uh, by putting the application into manual location mode, you can click on the map and it will drop uh, it will drop a pin, meaning that it will update your location uh, for that particular pin. So these updates go straight to Google Attitude. You can disable the manual mode by clicking on the cross icon. What else do we have in the settings screen? Um, you can see that there's a button here for uh, offline records, which I'll uh, discuss uh, later. So Latify uh, allows you to work in an offline mode so if there's no data connection available the application is able to um, process your location updates store them locally within the application and then do the upload to google attitude and batch at a later point in time you can also switch um, to satellite view or hybrid view like this we also provide uh, an option to uh, provide us feedback via email uh, by sending log files. You can also log out of the application and you can close the settings screen here. The second tab is the history map functionality where you can uh, view and replay your uh, location history. So I can select a date time here. I'll put this to 10 a.m. If I click on the fetch history button, it will now fetch my location history for that particular date range, allowing me to uh, effectively replay my location history from the screen. So we can use the play controls here to stop and replay the application, uh, the location history. We can also use the slider as a means to navigate back and forth onto our history. The third tab uh, is another visualization of that location history where here you get to see a flat list grouped by day of all your uh, location uh, updates that have been captured by the application. From here, you can also go into the uh, history map, which I showed you before. It will then load up all the locations for that particular day. 
The fourth tab allows you to configure uh, the Google Fusion table. So what we can do from this screen is we can either select an existing uh, Fusion table. And what that does is that it configures Latify to also push your locations to this uh, Fusion table. We can also create a new Fusion table. Click the Save button. The new Fusion table will be created and we can select it to push our location updates to that table. If we don't want to use Fusion tables, we just hit the Clear button. And then uh, no Fusion table will be selected and no updates will be sent to uh, Google Fusion tables. The final tab is the Profile section where you can configure Latify to do your location updates in a certain way. We have the driving, home, traveling, predefined set of profiles. If I select, for example, the driving profile, you'll see that I have set it to an update interval of one minute. I can change this to 30 seconds if I want to have very frequent location updates. We can set additional parameters like minimal distance. For example, if I don't want to capture um, location updates that were less than 10 meters uh, apart from each other, I just select this as a criteria, meaning that this will be the minimal distance which is required for a location update. We can force the application to only use Wi-Fi and cell radio. We have a minimal accuracy option. And we can choose to always sync to latitude only when on Wi-Fi or never. So using this screen, we can uh, select a profile and configure the different profiles accordingly. So this was it. A really quick tour of the Latify application. Obviously we can log out of the application as well. So that's it.